What up, ballers and ballerettes? Coach Max here with you from the Scorpion Academy, and today it's episode two. All right, and today we're going to talk about ball handling, right? Ball handling, and no, we're not going to talk about how to impress the girls or the girls trying to impress the boys, all right? We're going to talk about how to be quick effective decisive and precise with our ball handling and we're going to talk about the connection between here and here because you need to have here very strong to be able to do that during a game right tough defenders uh they, they move their legs they have hands to disturb you and all that and you having trouble to pass them because they are very like ferocious and you'd be like, oh my God, what is, why is he like sticking up to me like that? You need to be mentally prepared for that. And there's a way to prepare when it comes to training and workouts. All right. So we're going to talk about how to train huh? and how to mentally approach the workout in order to perform the ring games. All right. And not to be afraid of the tough defenders because we're going to use that as an advantage for us to become better ball handlers. All right. So do not forget, put your likes, notifications and uh, what is it? L likes, notifications, subscribe, because uh, that will help me motivate me to continue to give you good content about the mental approach of basketball. So get your notes. I have mine. Get your popcorn if you need it to. Get ready, it's about to go down. Let's go. You should always stay focused. What up, ballers and ballerettes? What's up? Coach Max with you from the Scorpion of Academy, episode two. We are talking about ball handling and the mental approach that we need to have in order to become better ball handlers. So let's get to it, fellas. And ladies, of course. All right. So the first two clips that we saw, the first one was Uncle Drew. As you saw, it was a basic and very simple move, switching hands from right to left and then finishing with the left hand. But if you go back to it, you see how quick, fast and effective the move was in order for him to go and finish with the layup. All right. Quick, fast, quick, fast, decisive, and precise. All right. Second one, that was me um, putting my opponent to sleep, switching hands left to right, right to left, and then blow by, and then finishing with a layup. Guys, this is ball handling. All right. This is ball handling. As simple as it look, this is ball handling. Nothing flashy, nothing fancy, but that's what we want. That's the thing that we are looking for because we want to be killers, assassins when it comes to basketball, right? Especially when it comes to ball handling. We want to be effective because we want to go somewhere and there's plenty of ways to do it without being flashy, fancy and doing a millions of dribbling uh, in order to do that. All right. So keep that in mind. So when it comes to the mental approach that we need to, to have when it comes to basketball games, especially if we are the ball handler, we are the point guard, all right? Guys, first thing, super important, never, never, ever, never, ever, 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 ever underestimate the opponent in front of you. The defender who is in front of you is hungry and he wants to put you down. He wants to shut you down. He wants to steal the ball. He wants to show the world that you are not as good as people think, especially when it comes to you being a, a, a known basketball player in your area. People know who you are. Well, trust me, that defender is hungry and he's after you and he wants to prove that to everybody that you are not the guy or the girl, right? So guys, do not s start by putting all these negative thoughts in your head by saying, that, oh, he doesn't look too tough. I got this, Psst, whatever. You know, what's going to happen maybe is that it will be too late. By the time you decide to be on your serious mode, it might be too late. 
because the defender, uh, while the game was was going, what was going on, his confidence might be to the roof now. And by the time you decide to switch on your serious mode, it might be too late because you won't be able to reach the same level that he were to where he's at right now. It's going to be a problem for you. So it's going to be probably your worst game ever. By the time you step on the court, you have to be prepared. You have to be ready right now. Do it now. Start now. Remember your ABCs, your fundamentals. Remember all the workouts that you did for the last two, three, four months. This is why we are here. This is why we play the game to show the world what we are capable of. We cannot hesitate we cannot be afraid and definitely and most definitely never take anybody on this court lightly never all right second of all guys we want to be ball handlers we want to be we want to be point guards we, we want the ball in our hands we want the coach to to, to to place the ball in our hands when it when it's crunch time clutch time guys Fear is your worst enemy. Fear is a virus. Fear will destroy you as an athlete. All right. So if ever you are that type of person who is afraid when it comes to play a game, one on one, two on two, three on three, four on four, four five on five, I don't care what it is. But if ever you are afraid just by stepping on the court, trust me, ball handling is not for you guys. You need to do something else. Go set some picks. Right? Do something else. Because I know players who do not like to do that, that kind of job. It's all right. But they are good players in different ways. All right? But if ever you are afraid, if ever you let fear take over, it's going to be a long night for you. Trust me. So now the question is, how do we defeat fear? How can we prevent that to invade our body, mind, soul. Training and workout, guys. Training and workout. First thing first, guys. First thing that we need to do when it comes to the training. You know, the stationary dribbling is a good warm-up before starting the real stuff. Like you see Steph Curry when he's on the sideline as the pregame, uh, the warm-ups that he does with the ball. You can use one or two balls. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Uh, but this is a good warm up to sync with the ball, right? It's like a, it's like connecting with the ball. That's super important. Like a samurai when he uses a sword and he's doing those movements over and over and over again. It's the same movement, the same movement that he did yesterday, the day before, the week before, three, four weeks before, a year before. Guys, it's repetition. Repetition, repetition is the key, all right? Second, second thing is when we start to get serious, then we start walking, jogging and running. Those are the three things that we do when we are on the court and we play a game. We walk, we jog, we run. When you get to the jogging part, start to incorporate movements between the legs behind the back in and out and then change of direction hesitations start incorporating that when you are in the jogging mode and when you get to the running do the same thing because we practice how we play that's what we do and while you're doing that guys that is the key and remember that visualize your toughest opponent in front of you visualize your toughest opponent in front of you remember his tendencies remember what he did to you that was bothering you during the game remember that picture that and adjust your dribbling uh, in sync with that all right just picture that visualize it and do it as a simulation so you can adjust your ball handling uh, on top of that that will help as well, all right? Don't just dribble for dribbling, all right? Put yourself, put your mind in the game simulation with the defender in front of you. So yes, you will probably gonna feel some stress because you're in that mode and that's what we want in order to be comfortable uh, with that stress and to be comfortable with the ball. Other thing too, guys, if ever you have a teammate who wants to improve, who wants to get better, call him, get his email, 
get his Facebook, his Instagram. I don't care what you, how do you could communicate, but get in touch with that person and do those drills with him. Make him be the defender or switch it after that. That it's even better as a workout. Do it for 30, 45 minutes, but be very serious about it, guys. It's very important. And trust me, that will help you. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, I, I've been doing that for the longest. And trust me, it helps a lot. All right. Remember that. So, my good people, this is what we have for today. Quick recap, guys. Like I said, the stationary dribbling as a warm-up, that's a good warm-up to start. And then we get serious walking, jogging, and running. And when we get to the jogging part, start incorporating your moves. Be loose, guys. Be loose. Be creative. That's super important. Be confident, too while you're doing it and like i said if you get to a park if you if you go to a gym and you see you have the whole the whole court take it all right take advantage of what you have so if you have a full court take the full court and do these moves back and forth that will put you in a simulation in a game simulation that's that's it's perfect guys it's perfect and don't forget you train you practice how you play so train like it was a game picture your toughest opponent and don't forget simulations guys so just remember all the things that happened during that game that you want to rectify you want to correct all right so adjust your dribbling in order considering that all right so if you have a if you have a friend a teammate you have your your, your boys your girls with you and you know they want to train call them Get in touch with them, go to a park, go to a gym, and try this. Try it. It works, guys. Trust me, it does work. I've been doing this. I tried it. I teach it to people. And they, even them, they are surprised. Like, it works. Like, yes, it does work. It takes time and discipline. Like I said, three days a week, go to four. In the next three months, you're going to see results. All right? But trust me, you need to be disciplined. So, that being said, don't forget to put your likes. If you have comments too, guys, don't forget to put it down. I'll be glad to give you an answer. Um, put your likes, notification, and subscribe. It will motivate me to do more for you guys. All right? And that being said, keep the work, guys. Keep the work. All right?